third phase of moon. Third. Welcome back to Third Phase of Moon. My name is Blake Cousins, and we're going over incredible videos that Jim Martin's captured over there in Los Angeles. He's been uh, having his eyes on the skies for about a year now. He has sophisticated equipment. We're going over incredible video that Jim shared with us. Jim, thanks for joining us right here at Third Phase of Moon. Thank you, Blake. I appreciate uh, being here today. Right, okay, Jim, basically, you know, there is a large archive of video that we're gonna go over tonight. Um, you know, let's see the equipment that you're working with and uh, what got you into UFOs? Do you have your cameras on you right now? I do. Um, my main camera I use is the Canon 7D. Let's see if we can get that in the lens here. There you go. I use a, um, this is called a, uh, it's, it's a kind of a viewfinder um, called a Zakudo to block the sunlight out. Uh, I use this lens, it's a Canon uh, um, EF 100-400 with two times extender. This is really how I get those long range shots. It's going it up and down. Um, here is a, uh, my night vision scope. This is uh, manufactured by Night Vision Optics. Ben Hansen was the one who put this together for me. It's the uh, Gen 3 RS Scout. And last is my new uh, camcorder. This is the Sony NXH, uh, Sony, uh, excuse me, HXR NX3. And I just got this thing uh, mostly because it has an incredible zoom range and it's kind of a lighter run and gun camera. That's my setup though. <laughs> You know, this uh, setup that you're shooting these, you know, unidentified flying objects and some of the videos we're looking at right now, they're not just one or two, but maybe, uh, you know, few tens of thousands of them. What do you think these things are? They're going in opposite directions of people would say maybe lint or, you know, you know, some kind of debris flying over. But then you see things going in the opposite direction, doing 90 degree turns. What are these things in your opinion? Ooh, it's, uh, it's anyone's guess at this point. I do believe, though, that they are um, some kind of living entity, some kind of creature up there. As you said, there's hundreds, hundreds of them, maybe thousands of them up there. Um, they look at these cigar-shaped, I think many people would call them rods. Um, and to me, to my eye, it looks mostly like orbs and rods up there. And why the scale is so large, I have no idea. I've just recently been able to, to shoot at this focal range of 800 millimeters. Um, so now I'm really kind of seeing the scale of what is up there, but I'm not sure what it is, but I do believe it's uh, unidentified flying objects, obviously. You know, we're, uh, we're going to go over your videos right now, YouTube. We're going to play the entire video that uh, Jim submitted, and then we'll come back and ask Jim some more uh, questions. Sit back and enjoy. This is incredible stuff. Here's an orb ascending upward over my deck. I filmed this with my Canon 7D, Canon telephoto lens. Here's a motion track of the object. Here's another filter. You can see a UFO flying up to the left. This was filmed on Christmas Day, 2013. I spotted this orb moving slowly compared to the rest of the traffic. Dropped a filter on it.
Here is two orbs flying in sync together. Motion track of the object. Moving orb flying through the frame. This is super close up. This one flies 90 degrees straight and makes a sharp left turn. Here's a cigar UFO. Spotted the sword flying along the telephone wires. Zoomed in a little bit on my camera. You can see it was cruising around pretty low in the neighborhood. Here's a filter applied. These are two orbs filmed right across from my apartment. See, they're kind of blinking in and out. Close up of them. Filmed this back in November, 2013. The object starts morphing. Tail appears. Whoa. Saw this one flew into the frame fast. I did my best to film it. UFO banks down, turns right, parks it, heads back down. Looking at the object closely, it almost looks machine-like or mechanical. Here's a swarm I filmed at 800 millimeters focal range. In the right sunlight, you can see a lot of activity in the sky. Here's a close-up without the filters. This object is flying much faster than the rest of the activity in the sky. 
The object is also flying the opposite direction. You can see it really maneuvering around the different orbs. This craft seemed to have a force field around the front and back of the UFO. When we motion track the object, you can clearly see it. We at Third Phase Moon, we want to put these videos out because uh, we think it's opening the people's minds around the world. If they're not looking at this and asking the question, then the knowledge of UFOs isn't going to get out. Third Phase Moon, you know, our goal is to share this to the world and let the people decide. Jim, you know, I really want to thank you for sharing uh, this incredible video, you know, videos you shot over the year. What, in your, uh, you know, experience of shooting these things, what would you give advice to the public on how to shoot it? You have a, you know, real good hand, a steady hand at capturing these things. What's your advice to the people on how to shoot a UFO? Well, my advice would be one is to learn about UFOs firstly. Uh, I learned about uh, UFOs through Robert Bingham. He taught me how to summon and kind of taught me what to look for when filming. Um, so it's helpful to have an understanding of what you're looking for first. Secondly, I would just say have a good camcorder um, and a tripod is really important. Getting a steady shot is critical, especially for these fast flying kind of objects. Um, the one tip I would give people, which I've discovered, um, is under the right sunlight, you can see a lot of activity. So between 10.30 and say 1.30 each day, find a spot where the sun, sun is pretty heavy, but maybe where your roof is blocking it directly, blocking the sun directly, but you can still see the rays. Point your camera up there, and that's how you'll start catching these kinds of objects. My last tip would be just let your camera record, walk away, let it film for five minutes, come back, and you'll be amazed at what you capture. Well, you know, I really think that people are going to be watching this video and have all kinds of uh, comments of your incredible captures, Jim. Can you tell everybody on how to find you on uh, YouTube? Thank you very much. My YouTube channel is Infamous Fan Club on YouTube.com. Uh, uh, I'd also like to mention some of my friends' channels, Robert Bingham uh, at Youthful Robert Bingham on YouTube and Jonathan Castro also on YouTube. Uh, and la lastly, I really like to third phase moon for featuring this video today. I really appreciate it. Well, we appreciate you sharing your incredible videos to the world, uh, Jim. And uh, everybody, if you capture anything amazing yourself, share it with us at Third Phase of Moon via Skype or Facebook. We'd like to share it just like we shared Jim's videos. Keep your eyes on the skies, everybody. My name is Blake Cousins, and we'll see you again next time. By popular demand, we are pleased to announce the Third Phase of Moon album is finally featured on iTunes. With all your favorite songs and themes, you hear on the top UFO channel on YouTube, Third Phase of Moon. Out of this world soundtracks composed by master artist, Paul Barrett. With 12 remastered and extended cuts to enjoy. Download them now, exclusive on iTunes. Click the link in the description below. Now listen for yourself, heard by millions around the world, Paul Barrett's album, Third Phase of Moon.